welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm just Lynn Daniel. So guys, today we are in Lira City and I'm going to show you guys around how Lira looks like in 2021 and um, all the good stuff in Lira. Their transport means their local food. We're going to try it all out together and yeah. So if you're new here, please subscribe and join the family. So guys, right here is Lira Main Market. Lira Main Market is the biggest market in Lira town and it's right in the middle of town. So you can get each and everything from Lira Main Market. It's really big with a lot of business people, as you can see. A lot of people are doing their daily businesses and yeah. So I'm so happy I got to reach Lira Main Market. I've never been here before, by the way. So I'm really glad I got to tour the market. It's a very, very big market and it has around three floors, very wide, very, very wide floors. Yeah, I'm very happy I reached here. So guys, if you if you don't know Lira, Lira is a town in northern Uganda, in Uganda. Yeah, so Lira is a town in northern Uganda. The people who stay in Lira are called the Lao people. Yeah the langis that's how they call them but lira has a lot of people mixed in together there are a lot of people who do their businesses here a lot of mixed dresses yeah i've seen i've had quite a number of people speaking different languages and yeah it's it's nice how people really get together and stay in one place peacefully and do their businesses they're really really lovely people I have got to meet a few of them, but as you can see, people are really busy. The town is really busy, very, very busy. That's one thing I've really liked about it. So guys, just like any other town, Lira has one of the biggest markets as well. And uh, you guys have seen it already. So we are still touring the town. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. And Lira is really very busy, by the way. It's more busier than Gulu town. Yeah fingers crossed i hope i find something more interesting and i show you guys one fun fact did you know that the lao people are led by the king they call the king wanyashi and the king's name is yosam odu ebi amazing i didn't know that wanyashi so this whole town is led this whole this whole tribe is led by this amazing person that they respect so very much. It's so amazing. So guys, the town is really busy as you can see. And yeah, let's tour. Talk, talk. So guys, just like uh, Soroti in Bali, Lirasiti Lira also has these amazing boda bodas. And we're going to try it together. I think as usual it's the same price. Uh, but uh, one thing I've failed to understand, Gulu City doesn't have this. Like totally, totally. Some people leave a comment down below. Why don't you have border bicycle border borders in your town? So we're going to try it out, and uh, yeah, we have experienced it before on this channel, but let's try it out in a new town. So right here is one of the most commonly used means of transport by the locals who stay in Lira City. So this border border ride is is just going to cost to be five hundred shillings, and the motto buy scores cost 1000 shillings unless you're moving out of town so whenever i come to a new town you guys already know you guys have already watched the previous videos if you haven't yet watched please go down below and check on my other videos you'll find we have experienced this ride before but i'll always repeat on i'll always repeat it all over again because the experience is amazing the ride is so relaxing it's so calming and i get to see the whole town just with this ride because it's very calm it's so nice and one thing i've noticed about the buddha the bicycle riders is that they're so lovely in every town i go to they're really nice to talk to they're very lovely so i give this ride a eight out of ten you guys should try it experience was so amazing as usual. Well. It's, 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 it's very calm. It's, 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 it's
I hope you guys, when you come to Lima, please try it out. <laughs> Just 500 shillings, it's very nice. So, guys, one amazing thing I've noticed about this town is, is that it's really big. It's a big town. Um, which town can I compare it to? It's really a big town, by the way. And, uh, yeah, there are a lot of people. A lot of people compared to Gulu. I'm almost saying compared to Gulu because I'm from Gulu. But it's really a big town and a nice town. The people are lovely. Very, very lovely. That's one thing I've known about Lira people. Do you want to be in my video? I celebrate. Yeah, so guys, I met an amazing friend. <laughs> Say hi. Hello, hello, members. I'm called Newton. I'm a good friend to Doslin. I'm happy to be with her. And we're just touring the town. We are moving right now. We've just been moving along town. We've been using the, the motorcycle border. Lately, we are just from uh, the, the bicycle border. But it's cool. Everything is good. We're just enjoying. We are yeah, fun. that's how Lira people are nice. Slangy people. If you're from Lira, and you're watching this video, please subscribe because I've loved all of you already. Your town is beautiful, everything is amazing. And yeah, so let's go and try out some other new thing. The Boda Boda ride was really nice. And uh, I'm on Bus Park Street. This street goes to Bus Park. My hair, there's something about my hair, but yeah, that street goes to Bus Park. And um, yeah, we're going back to town. I think we're going to Market Street. So that we can Oh, so Newton, how do they greet in la in your language? Itieningo. In actually, we say itieningo. 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 my bear. How do they say? How do they say well, you're welcome? Of course, of course, Bim. So you tell me you're welcome. Of course, Bim. Yes. Of course, Bim. How do I reply? Bear. Bear. you be no? Bear. Bear should learn language. Mm. It's an interesting language. That's why you're here. Yes. Bear. And that city is nice. <laughs> Those are roads. There's something about the roads. It's not really good. Very, very good. But I'm sure with very good roads, it's going to be very nice, right? Yeah. What do you say about your roads? Sorry? What do you say about your roads? Um, uh, briefly about our road. Our mm. road is good. Mm. However, we have some some uh, streets. Yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, our city council are working on it because uh, lately I heard on the radio they were talking about uh, how best can they work to make it a better city for us. Okay. And we have the the city leaders which we trust. The case in point, we have our. Our city mayor is, is a very good person and he's a competent person. He's called Mr. Sam Atu. We trust him so much. So I'm and sure they'll work on it. We hope he's really going to make Lira better. I'm sure. I'm sure. Lira is As going to be see, more there beautiful. There is a possibility of, of, of drastic change and development. Okay. Mm. All right. So, yeah, that's it. Let's go and uh, eat something, I guess. Or go to Market Street. And, yeah. Guys, Lira has old buildings as well around town. As you can see, that one. That's an old building. And even these. Those right there, yeah. Their buildings around town are quite old and uh, yeah. But it, it's so far so good. I've loved the town. I've loved the city. I always call it town. But yeah, Lira has also made city among the new cities in Uganda, right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It was also made city. So I'm sure with time, it will be a better place. A lovely, lovely place. Yeah. We can't leave this town without trying out one of the local dishes and uh, see how it tastes like. So, to my surprise, most of the dishes 
are the same as our dishes. Most of the local dishes are the same as actual local dishes. Like they have malakwang, they have go, you know, the pasted greens. So most of the dishes are the same and yeah. So I ordered for malakwang and sweet potato. Yeah, so we're going to have it together. And you guys are going to see how it looks like. So guys, this is what I'm having. This food is called malakwang and um, it's pasted with peanut. We call it odi. Yeah, it's pasted with odi and it's one of the local foods in Lira. And I'm having it with sweet potatoes. I'm very sure most of you know sweet potatoes. But this is called malakwang. It's a very nice dish. Actually, in Acholi, when someone gives birth and... Uh, in her early days of giving birth of course mothers don't most mothers don't have milk in the early days so they prefer them to eat this food boiled actually or take the, the, the soup of it so that they can get breast milk that's one most amazing thing about the food but it's healthy it's nice i love love it and um, most of most of the local dishes in lira are the same in Lango region, let me say, are the same as local dishes in Acholi region. So there's not there's nothing like so far or so special about it. But yeah, this is my dish. So let's enjoy the meal. And I think this this dish is nice when you put specifically because when they're making peanut butter, when they're making odi, we call it odi, you either mix it with, um, you, make, you mix it with peanuts and simkin. But this specific dish is nice when you put plain peanut. Okay, for me, I prefer it with plain peanut paste. Yeah. So if it's made with plain paste, there's a way that there's a way the leaves are already bitter, so it gets hard to eat both bitter leaf and bitter paste. Yeah, and it's always nice with sweet potatoes because the leaves are bitter already, and you can have it with sweet potatoes. You know, potatoes are sweet, so you can have it with sweet potatoes, and yeah, it makes a very, very nice paste. Very nice. Paste. The dish is so far so good, and uh, I must say, Lira is a lovely town, really lovely. Uh, I've been here for a very short while, I can say hours, because it's really been a short while, but um, I've had the most of it, I've met the most, I don't know, I've met people, very good people, and uh, yeah, I love the fact that it's different. Because I was filming and they were minding their business. Okay, I don't know. I've had experiences in town and uh, whenever you're filming, people ask you, why, why are you taking our videos? It's in actual sense, you're just vlogging and you know, they make the most out of it. But this town has been amazing and I would really love to come back and experience the culture, you know, their traditional dance. Yeah, I'd really love to come back and experience all that and show you guys all that. So, if you're new here, please subscribe and uh, like the video already. I'm going to finish my food and then yeah, head back to Gulu. It's been lovely. It's been so nice. Very, very nice. If you've not yet come to Lira, please come. It's a busy town, very busy. Business people only. Yeah, I'm not saying it's only for business people, but there are a lot of business people in the town. So the town is really busy. Yeah, I, that's all I can say. Very busy town, lovely town. And yeah. So uh, I'm so happy I made this video for you guys. If you're new here, 
subscribe and join the family. I love you all so much. And yeah, till next time. Bye.